Hey, I am uh, Paul Van Emmen, as the kids call me Mr. V, or just V. So, uh, today we are introducing the 2021 Comstock High School Snow Coming Court. Yeah, yeah, we move. There we go, yeah, all right. Okay, first up is our freshman princess and prince, Sophia Condon and Tyler Mulsey. Sophia is the daughter of Jean Starberry and Mr. Condon. Tyler is the son of Jennifer and Michael Woolsey. Yay! Way to go, freshmen. Uh, next up is our sophomore princess and prince, Samaya Jones and Amarion White. Samaya is the daughter of Ashley Fly. is the son of Matt Patterson and is accompanied by his mother, Davida White. Yeah, yeah, woo-woo! Okay, representing the junior class is Princess and Prince Madigan Webster and Tariq Ross. Madigan's parents are Danielle and Jason Webster. Tariq is the son of Karen Jefferson and is accompanied by his father, Greg Horn. High school, Macy has taken part in basketball, soccer, and volleyball. Macy is also a member of the National Honor Society. She plans to pursue a degree in special education. Macy's hero is her little sister, Marley. She is Macy's best friend and has taught her what it means to accept people's differences and love them for who they are. Macy's most embarrassing moment was during freshman year when she knocked over a trash can with her bass drum during a performance. Evan! is the son of DJ and Susan Caswell. Evan has participated in football, baseball, and basketball all four years of his college career, or his high school career, rather. Yeah. He was also a member of the Student Lighthouse team. Evan is committed to Adrian College for football and will major in criminal justice and minor in sociology. His plan is to work for the Michigan State Police. Evan's hero is his dad. My dad is my hero because he has shown me the value of hard work and has instilled in me that no matter who somebody may be, or what they may have done, you always should be kind to everyone. He's also taught me that not every day is going to be easy, and the majority of days won't be, but you can find something good in every day. Next up, Maya Dion Foster and Kyle Mortimer. Kyle looks a little bit different today. Maya is the daughter of Michelle and Teresa Dion Foster. Throughout her high school career, Maya has participated in volleyball, basketball, soccer, band, and has helped with the student lighthouse team. Maya's future plan is to earn her associate's degree from KDCC through Early Middle College and get her bachelor's, master bachelor's degree from WMU in business. Her favorite memory was advancing in districts through sophomore year as she stopped all scoring as the goalie. Maya's parents are her heroes because they have shown her how to be successful in life. If Maya could change one thing about the world, it would be to have less homelessness and for everyone to have a safe place to call home. Kyle is the son of Matt Mortimer. During Kyle's four years of high school, he's participated in basketball and soccer. Kyle's after-school plan is to go to a trade school. Kyle's favorite high school memory was, I don't have it yet, but I'll be winning the district title next week on a basketball court with my team. Okay. Order. Next up is Bethany Bovin and Dalton Wilkins. Come on down. <laughs> Bethany is accompanied this afternoon by her mother, Casey Lincoln. Bethany's favorite future plan is to become an adoption specialist. Beth's hero is her mom because she always inspires Beth to be her better self. Her favorite high school memory is winning Powder Puff junior year. Her dream car is a Honda CRV, and her ideal spring break plans are spending time with friends. If she could change one thing in the world, it would be how materialistic everything has become. Dalton is the son of Whitney and Todd Wilkins. Dalton is a member of the National Honor Society band and also basketball and soccer. Dalton's future plans are to attend Western and learn business, then be the best man I can be. His hero is Cy from Duck Dynasty because he just knows what's going on. Dalton's favorite ice cream is Cookie Monster. His dream car is a Bumblebee Transformer. Don't know what that is. And he wishes superpowers were real. Finally, Dalton would like you to know he is an expert at guitar hero and his beard game is strong. 
Okay. Next up, Macy Osborne and Kayla Howard. Macy's parents are Mary and Todd Osborne. She's being escorted by her father. After graduation, Macy hopes to have find a normal job. She doesn't plan to go to college right away as it won't be in person due to COVID. Macy's favorite memory was the blackout football game when Comstock won and everyone jumped the fence to celebrate their victory. Macy's hero is Danny DeVito because, just look at the man, he inspires me every day. Macy has many weird food combos. Okay, yeah, I mean, listen to this. Uh, such as Worcestershire sauce and cheese puffs, burgers and jelly, and cottage cheese and French dressing. Yeah, I gotta know what's up with that one. That's just gross. Macy would like for people to enjoy their life more. No point in hating it when you only get one. Caleb is the son of Robert and Angel Howard. Caleb participated in football, baseball, and basketball. His favorite ice cream is cookie dough ice cream. His hero is Adam Sandler because, I mean, who doesn't like Adam Sandler? And his most embarrassing moment was being yelled at by Mrs. Gruder for burning her floor, which I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, our next contestants, Brianna Tiffany and Cornelia Shaver. Brianna is accompanied by her mother, Darla Tiffany, and her grandmother, Vicki. Throughout high school, Brianna has taken part in softball, basketball, and volleyball. Her future plans to attend Western and study sociology. The most embarrassing moment for Brianna was in sixth grade. She was leaning back in her chair and fell backwards where everyone watched and laughed. Her best high school memory was all the fun she had with her class during powder club practice and the game. Brianna's hero is her mom because she is inspirational and brings out the best in her. Brianna's hope for the world is to eliminate all aspects of racism. Born is the son of Angela Preston. Throughout high school, Corn participated in football all four years, basketball, and track. His future plans are to play football in college and earn a degree in criminal justice. I think that's everyone. Okay, Lily. All right, as many of you know, the tradition is the previous king and queen crowned the new winners. However, last year's king, Anthony Whitehead, can't be with us today. So our queen from last year, Lily Dion Foster, is going to take care of both those honors. Queen Lily is sent to the Community College. And she's going to crown our king and queen. The hush falls over the crown. Who will it be? Who will be our new king? I think it should be me. I'd be a good king. King B. See, she's coming to me. Wilkins is your 2021 Snow Coming King. Okay, now Lily is going to crown this year's queen. participating, being selected by your classmates. Thank you parents and everyone here who's watching. Uh, these are your 2021 snow coming king and queen.